giving you a voice, and making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. In the top spot, we have Hall of Fame Team 27. From Clarkston, Michigan and Clarkston High School, it's Team Rush. They have an overall record of 16-3, and three, and they were the winners of the Kettering University number 1 event this past weekend. So, man, our, our reigning world champs are picking up right where they left off. So many times we kind of talk about this. We see teams that have success one year just kind of end up disappearing and years going forward. It's kind of hard to sustain sustain that a lot of times for, for teams. But obviously that's not the case with Rush here. And just an always dominant force on and off the field. Um, they're a team, you know, you want to emulate in all aspects. So finishing first after qualification matches, they would take the win in seven matches. And Rush is... Um, in my opinion, just one of the smoothest level three hab climbs out there. Just, I just love the way they do it. Um, it's not rocky at all. It's super um, strong and sturdy and husky and um, just really well designed and executed. And uh, like husky bot. <laughs> <laughs> that's also an inside joke from way back yeah. when. Um, so they also have kind of that pink arm for those that are old enough to remember kind of where that comes from. Um, just kind of that telescoping centered arm on their robot. So just awesome work to 27 so far this year. Um, just keep it going and look forward to seeing what you do uh, going forward. So congrats to 27 Team Rush at number five. So moving on, our number fourth ranked team, also from FIM, is going to be team, num <laughs> team number 33. We mentioned it a little bit, I think, how tough Michigan mm -hmm. is. From Auburn Hills, Michigan, Notre Dame Prep, it's the Killer Bees. 17-1 and one overall with the winners of the Southfield District event in FIM. Everyone knows I am a huge fan of the Killer Bees. Uh, I couldn't wait to see the robot take the field this past weekend, and we were not disappointed. 33, 33 was consistent throughout the event, finally achieving uh, that full rocket that they were working towards in qualification match 62. They used all their wins in those ranking points to seed first. They selected 35, 38, and 94. The Alliance went 6-0 and to win the event. So congrats to the Killer Bees, and you can catch the robot again week three at the Centerline event. Good luck to Team 33, the Killer Bees. <laughs> classic that's a classic uh I know, pronunciation I of that yeah i can't you have to yeah oh yeah oh yeah 33 having a bit of a rebound year as well too uh last year getting knocked out early both at msc and at the uh world championships as well too so to see 33 just uh with a once again a crazy machine they have but a crazy and very functional machine uh this year is awesome to see yeah, and I I forget what the uh, what Jim Zondag said at one point. He was on our show and he said that they have won their first event of the year like 12 years in a row or something just absolutely crazy. I don't know if Nick Cousins is still in chat. He can kind of ch chime in with that, <laughs> but uh, it was really a, an impressive stat. But yeah, that's the, the Killer Bees in the fourth spot. In the third spot, we're going to talk about Team 973. From Atascadero, California, Atascadero High School, it's the Graybots. They have an overall record of 14, 2, and 1, and they were the winners of the Orange County Regional. So an early favorite in Destination Deep Space, 973 was turning heads here at the Orange County Regional and all over as we were watching on um, on the Blue Lions um, game day. And the fun chat was just always alert to when the Graybots were playing, um, just watching, like, oh, 973 is up, 973 is up. So we were all watching and just a really strong force out there. They had a 2.5 ranking score average um, that earned them the third rank, and they were selected number number one overall by a team that we may or may not talk about later. Um, but Graybots has kind of like a one-and-a-half hatch auto. They place, and they go get another one, and they're close to the rocket to place the second one. Uh, but they're right in position right as um, the sandstorm ends. Um, and the coordination with 330 was really cool to watch in um, the sandstorm. Is that what it's called? Sandstorm period? In hybrid? I don't know. Um, sandstorm. But, <laughs> it's called the sandstorm, yeah. I know, but it's just, yeah. It's one of those things, like, you just, yeah. It's hard to break that habit. Um, and they just have to have three climb at the end, too. So a, a truly another truly amazing robot um, uh, from the Graybots. And look forward to watching it later more this season as well. So congrats to them. Mike, props so, you for getting a Tascadero correct. I, I was stumbling. As I was writing, I was like, I didn't practice it. But then I, right yeah. as I was about to say it, I was like, it just came back. It, was like, it, only, took like, it only took about five years of us writing it out phonetically. Do. Yeah, to, to get it right. Yeah, yeah, and saying like Spokane, Washington, and yeah. we we just got obliterated for every time. We still do. We still we do. still but. do. Definitely <laughs> for sure. So as we always say, another inside joke, another classic for 
um, the top 25. As we always say, all the dramas in the two spot, this kind of, you know, obviously when we say number two, you know who's going to be number one. Um, and this is usually where we just stop and just say a quick thank you to everybody who voted, everybody who's watching. Um, we love doing this with you guys every week, and yeah. uh, it's really just an honor and a privilege. So um, we thank you guys all for, for hanging out with us. It's just it's a lot of fun for us. For sure. So that, for that being said, um, our number two ranked team is going to be team so number, close. Yeah. Um, is going to be team number 330. From Hermosa Beach, California, it's the Beach Bots. 15-1 and one overall with the winners of the Orange County Regional. So the last season of the Beach, Beach Bots has begun in the best of ways with an event win at OCR, and they stormed out of the gate in their very first qualification match, earning the full Rocket RP and getting the Habdoc points for four, uh, for four ranking points. That was really awesome to watch. They continue to play well and take the top spot after qualifications finished. They teamed up with 973, who we just talked about, and 597 to take the event win in six straight matches. So you can catch the robot again in week four uh, at the Los Angeles Regional. Congrats to 330, the Beach Bots. Like I said, kind of their, um, they posted on Chief Delphi a while back. This is their last season, and they've started yeah. out, um, you know, obviously quite well. Yeah, it's just one of those just amazing legendary teams um just always has like we say a lot justin right like you could take team numbers off of bumpers or whatever you could line up a whole bunch of robots and you could pick out like whose team is whose and 330s is one of them um you just you know which robot is theirs and um it just it's shaping up to be a a really awesome and amazing farewell season for them so congratulations to them so Tower, do you want to talk about how close it was now, or do you want to wait until number one? No, we can talk about it. I don't have the exact one up. I think it was separated by about three or four votes out of 300 or something like that. So, which is, which is uh, crazy. 1% margin, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, very, very – I 330 actually was leading uh, up until I think the last, like, three hours before the poll closed. So I, wow. I thought it was going to be 330. Uh, but this next team just edging them out. Yep. Yeah, and that next team earning the top spot for the FC Top 25 2019 Week 1 is team number 118. From League City, Texas and Clear Creek High School, it's the Robonauts. They have an overall record of 16-2, and two, and they were the winners of the El Paso District event. So um, not a surprise that, the, you know, that 118 is up here near the top. Um, they just continue to dominate their events. 10-2 and two after qualification matches. They had a 2.41 ranking score average. Um, honestly, in the beginning, 118 looked a little shaky at first, mm -hmm. but as all these top tier teams do, they just kept working, didn't let it get to them, just kept playing their game, worked out the software bugs or whatever it may have been. Um, as we kind of mentioned, almost lost a number one seed um, as their alliance partner in that last qualification match, kept recurring penalties for being outside of their frame perimeter and the defensive zone, um, but just, you know, head to the grindstone there and um, just really put forth a really great effort, and 118 is just putting up another start to another great season. I love their drive, as we're seeing here. Um, just quickly gets around the field, and uh, so congrats to them and their first ever um, district win in Texas. Um, and good luck um, as they'll compete at the Arizona North Regional, and then they'll be back um, for the Pasadena um, district event later. Um, so congrats to them. <laughs> Chat was saying 11-8. <laughs> 11-8. <laughs> Team 11-8. <laughs> I think it was an intro joke from last year. Yeah. All right. So, well, it kind of fits in what we were going with earlier, too. But, yeah. Yeah, but um, I couldn't so, believe the red card that they got that, you, Mike, you featured in your video. It was just mm -hmm. crazy. I saw, the, I saw the hatch fly, and then I saw the red card, and I was like, that cannot be the rule. Like, it just... We, it just we debated be. it yesterday on the yeah. uh, South, South show, and I think most of the hosts agreed that it should be a red card. It's not necessarily the right... Like, they don't agree that the rule was made in the first place, but the way that it's stated that it should be. Yeah, it definitely says violation red card. Like, there's no yeah. there's no two ways about it. I just, I can't Im think of another rule uh, in FRC that was remotely that uh, aggressive um, right from the get-go. That's but, a good way to put it, aggressive, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Especially I mean, when it's wanna, not... I don't want to get hit in the face with the hatch either, but I don't True. know. True, I guess where do you... Yeah, I mean, I guess you... Yeah. But if it wasn't, like, on a scoring attempt, like, within, I don't know, a foot of the... You know, I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. But cool. So that's it. Our first top 25 of the 2019 season. Um, crazy. Yeah. Only a bunch more to go, but it felt, was fun. Felt, it was cool. good to be home. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I love doing this every year. So, so cool. Sorry. I'm just thinking somebody for subscribing. I don't yeah. Know if it, was, if it was my turn to say anything. <laughs> uh, so much backup. 
No, that's fine. Uh, that's going to wrap it up. I'll just read this. Uh, it's going to wrap it up for uh, for week one. Uh, so once again, voting is going to open up Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern and run through Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and it's for all teams attending week two events. That also includes ISR one and two and Bucephorus, I think is the way you pronounce that, the turkey event. Uh, so with that said, uh, the last giveaway for the Bat Hawks that we're going to draw uh, on here, the winner of that with Galaxy with an A, two A's, it's going to be uh, Faulty Impulse. Congratulations, Faulty Impulse. Wow, guys, three subscribers winning tonight. Uh, so rigged. clearly, yeah, lots and lots and lots of rigged. Faulty Impulse, congratulations. Make sure you reach out to me uh, with your uh, information uh, so we can get that sent out to you. Once again, name, address, all that stuff is what we need. Uh, but cool. thanks, everybody. Awesome show tonight. And thanks for being patient with the uh, delay. Very cool. So, um, yes, thank you for that. So week two is ahead. Um, Justin, any events that kind of stick out to you going forward? Uh, events, robots. I mean, I, I'm going to take the take the easy road and just say, you know, 148 and 1678 bring the robots to the field for the first time. Um, so I'll be, of course, watching that and curious and excited to see how they perform uh, at their first events. Awesome. Tyler, did you have any? Uh, I am going to the Midwest Regional on Saturday, do some uh, filming and photography, uh, or not photography, but video principal photography, I should say, uh, for fun. So if you're at Midwest Regional, I'll be there on Saturday doing some interviews with teams. Please come by and say hi. Can't wait to see you. Very cool. Sweet. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for everybody who's watching. Of course, if you want more First Row Box in your life, hey, just tell other people to watch the stream. You know, we, we definitely appreciate subs and bits and stuff. We need that uh, to uh, make sure that uh, you know, we can keep fun going, running on our shoestring budget that we do, and uh, we keep getting more adversity. Uh, something else just came up tonight, and uh, thanks a lot uh, to Papa First for all that stuff as well. We appreciate those adversities coming our way. Uh, but with that said, uh, guys, we need your support. Thank you so much for making it happen. You are what keep us going uh, for things despite all that BS going on. Uh, sure. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, I'll call I'll call a spade a spade. It, it's BS when you find out what it is. But uh, so if you got a few bucks a month to share, we definitely appreciate. It. If not, just tell more people that hey, you know, we got these people volunteering their time to make this stuff happen, and we appreciate you and. We definitely appreciate you for watching, so thank you so much. Uh, so on behalf of myself, Mike, Justin, and our producer behind the scenes, Nick, I want to thank you all for turning in, and thanks to all the moderators in chat, keeping it real. Uh, if you're watching uh, live, we do have FTC recap tomorrow, if you want to check that out at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so with that said, we'll see you next time on Fun. Talk to you then. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.